All right, this video I'm going to show you how to find the all the trig values for the angle 0 and 360. All right, so one thing that you've got to look at is Okay. All right, so if we have just some angle Okay, we've got some angle and let's just call it theta. Well, there's a point here, okay, and it's the point xy. So this distance from here to here, that would be our x distance. This would be y, okay, and this would be r. And we know that r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. You can get that using the Pythagorean theorem. And so we know that the sine of theta is y over r, cosine theta is x over r, tangent theta is y over x, and then we have cosecant theta secant theta and cotangent theta and you were you should remember that these are just the reciprocal like cosecant's reciprocal of sine secant's reciprocal of cosine cotangent's reciprocal of tangent and so that's r over y this is r over x and this is x over y all right so we want to find we want to find all the trig values of 0 and 360. Well, let's do 0 degrees. All right, so let's go ahead and draw this. And so we know this is 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270, and then back to 360. Okay. So what we want to do is here's zero so we want to pick some point here okay and we'll call this point the point one zero now you can call that point anything you want okay well, I mean not anything but notice we chose one zero if you wanted to you could call this point five zero or one half zero it makes no difference okay we know we just go out whatever x is but y since it's since it's on the x-axis here you know our y value is zero so whatever you call the x value doesn't matter now the y value is always going to be zero because that's the that would be the coordinate of the point whatever you choose for x and then y to be zero and I just pick something easy uh, we just pick x to be one it just makes it easier to work alright so what we need to do now is we need to figure out what x y and r is you see the x and the y the r the x the r we've got to know those well we know this is x and that's y well, what's r? Well, r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So r, well, that's 1 squared is 1 plus 0. That's the square root of 1, which is 1. All right, so what do we have? We have x is equal to 1. Okay, there's our x. y is equal to 0. There's y and r is equal to 1. And there you go. You've got it now. So now let's get sine theta. So sine theta is y over r. y over r, so that's 0 over 1, which is 0. I'm sorry, not sine theta. How about we try sine 0? degrees because that's what we're looking for and then cosine 
of 0 degrees. Well, cosine is x over r. x is 1, r is 1, so that's 1 over 1, which equals 1. Tangent 0 degrees. Well, what's tangent? Tangent is y over x. Okay, So that's going to be 0 over 1, which is 0. And then we do uh, cosecant theta. All right. Well, we know that's just the reciprocal. So if we flip this, that's 1 over 0. Well, what do we get when we have 0 in the denominator? That's undefined. All right. And then secant theta. Well, see, see cosine is 1 over 1. So if we flip that, that's 1 over 1, which is 1. And then cotangent theta. Well, if we take the reciprocal here, that's 1 over 0, and that is undefined. So there's the values of the trig functions for 0 degrees. Now, I'm not going to go through and do 360 because, look at this, there they are for 0 degrees. Well, how would we do 360? Well, the point would be the same spot because here's 360. Okay, so we would still pick the point one zero, so they're exactly the same. Okay, you, you could actually just array, you know, copy this, copy all this again, and just change the zero degrees to three hundred and sixty degrees on all of them. Okay. So I hope this helped. Check out my other videos. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.